Hey guys, LJ here. And today we're going to be putting turn signals on 2003 EasyGo S4 Express Gas. I'm sorry, an EasyGo Express S4 Gas. Got to get things right. All right, here we go. Okay, I got the uh, Country Cat. I got this uh, you know, straight, straight from Country Cat. There was no instruction. Okay, the very first thing you want to do, I already disconnected the ground. It's an eight millimeter. Go ahead and disconnect the positive side also. Okay. All right, make sure you remove your key. All right, this whole piece will drop down. And then there'll be two clips in the back. What you want to do is just reach around on the inside here. You can feel the little clips pushing through. Okay. Okay. See this little hole? These are the little clips that are in there. What you do is you reach up there see where the wires going through you can see the little slot up there and that's where you push you just push it up and push it in okay so here's the country cat I got this uh, turn signal kit this is how you fasten it the steering column this is what's gonna plug in for the blinkers this will be for the horn jumper this is what controls the, uh, the blinkers those are already wired in and if your dash is like mine, here's your horn. What you're gonna do is you're gonna unplug one and then you plug it in into one end, female, male, boom, 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 that's it. Same exact position, same everything. As you can see, we've got the female end here, this is the male end. We're gonna run this thing down the column and up around that little hole right there on the left-hand side. And then poke it right through that hole. Everything fits real nice. Um, this is where the blinkers go to. So just got to disconnect that. And then once we run this around, we'll plug that right in. And that's it. And then clamp this thing down. And it'll be ready to go. All right, here we go. Okay, just like that. Since the turn signal is going to be on the driver's side, the left-hand side of the column. We're gonna go ahead and run our wires up the left-hand side. Okay, now, you can see there's a big gap up on the top. We're just gonna tuck these wires right over the top here. Oh, sorry, kinda hard to see. I just go right over and boom, they'll come out right here. And now I'm gonna push them up and shove them up through. Yeah, real easy, huh? Okay. Now we've got all that. And like I said, Take this one, clip that in. We already have the horn jumper wired in. Just gently don't force it and make sure it's the right way. There we go. All that stuff can just sit there. Now, remember those little holes? And there's our little clips. Okay, so now we have the turn signal. Got this here, and what you want to do, just like this, then slide this over. Oops, you can see that. Stick those through. to the top and 
Okay, it's not going anywhere. Now, this nice little sleeve here. Just, just as easy as it looks. All right, can't even see it. Everything's tucked right in there. Super clean. Okay, now we're gonna just reconnect the battery and we'll give it a test run. Okay, let's see if it works. Hazards, and then I'll turn the hazards off, you just turn the blinker left or right. And here's the horn. All right, that was super easy. Took maybe 15 minutes. All right, you guys, well, that was real easy. Uh, country cat turn signal, uh, that with the horn jumper, just under 200 bucks. The sleeve was another 30 bucks. You know, 200 and 230 bucks. You'll see them on there for like 240, 250. This was the cheapest way to get the whole package. Came out real clean, was all plug and play. Couldn't be happier. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Please hit like, please hit subscribe. And always be safe out there, have fun, love what you're doing and do what you love. All right, until next time, thanks for watching LJ Off-Road Hot Rod Mods. Even golf cart mods.